Both did, yeah. I did the Helios here. Yeah. Oh, I was talking about the outset. Well, guys, no, no. Uh, we have already done a video on the outset. Mm hmm. In which I had a broken one. Yeah, you can tell. Right out of the box. Right out of the, the box. Was... The, the clicker. Yeah. One of the clickers. And, I think uh. It's the right one. Could after playing with it, because yeah. I had a, uh, my black one and my glossy one. Mm hmm. Played with the glossy one. I went to play with the black one. Mm hmm. And it just didn't. Like, when you clicked, it went further. Like, it went. Click and then you press hard and it went ka chunk. Not good. Yeah, uh, so we sent it back. Turns out Vaxi's tiny. Uh, you gotta pay shipping to send it back. Oof. Ouch. Yep. Yeah. So it's not like seven, eight bucks. Well, just as a heads up, Vaxi's tiny. They actually don't even have distribution technically in any of the countries that are in there that small. Mm -hmm. They have to ship them from their manufacturing to like their kind of like individual stores slash sellers in each region that's why if you follow on twitter like i just did for the np01 s yeah. um they'll be like oh we just got them in this region they're up on our store now or we just got you know what i mean like mm -hmm. and it's like they're shipping them to like their local distributor that so they don't really have like a rma center or a like return label set up or mm -hmm. it'd be like it's like no like to be truthful even i'm from bitwit i would get a return label that's mm -hmm. what and i was kind of like yeah you guys really need to set that up because like if say they sent me a xl shirt this is the new bitwit uh mm -hmm. you know sweat my shirt here guys and i've bought stuff because the, uh, these guys do uh a bunch of stuff for like uh pulse hardware uh Gamers Nexus, um, Level 1 Techs, Tech Syndic, you know, like a bunch of those guys. Mm -hmm. um, I've had stuff before, and it's wrong. That shit happens, right? Mm -hmm. I give you a return, I believe you send it back. Mm -hmm. uh, Vaxi, however, supposedly you have nothing in place for when... And they were not getting over, like... I even sent them the clip from the video showing when we snapped it back in place. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, you just got to do this. And that has fixed many mice for me before because mm -hmm. what happens is the, the top shell gets unsnapped from the actual, like, inner mm -hmm. shell and you just snap her back together. Oh, and what's the, what that also prevents is pre-travel. So what, what the reason why it's set up that way is because the top shell snaps into the inner shell so that the click is already partially depressed. Not mm -hmm. onto the switch, but, like, it's closer to where the actual like mechanical switches because mm -hmm. if you let it to where the shell wanted it to be it'd be like flapping in the wind realistically mm -hmm. so there's a little clip that clips it into the plastic on the inner shell and then that Keeps clip maxes out the, how high it can go essentially yeah so i just snapped her back in there it turns out uh, it might have been some deformed plastic in there at some point or something so it was just bad so, so it was just bad box. and i did have to pay the i mean i could have probably found cheaper shipping but i that's, that was I wanted trackable, so it was like another eight bucks. That yeah, was kind of a yikes. So it's definitely not. Vaxi, that's my one complaint. I, and you, they took care of it right away. Yeah. I showed they just want to see a video, and they're like, "Ah, oh, we really don't get it, but yeah, sure, we'll replace it." And I'm like, "Oh, can I have a label sent back?" And they're like, "Yeah, we don't do that." And I'm like, Ugh. "I mean, Sigh. Corsair makes you do it under warranty too, but this was literally like within return policy. You know what I mean? So." Sadness. Alright, well, just, just a heads up. Hopefully, this one is better, and so far it looks perfectly to be fine. Way. Pull it out, and yeah. yeah, that looks exactly like a vaccine is supposed to look. There you go, into that. Didn't have to pop the button back into the show. Yep. So if you're wondering, guys, since the outset has existed, um. There's no longer an EC2 on my desk. Yeah? That's your main? No, this is not my main. No? Rival 106 is my main. Okay. <laughs> but... That's one of them. Yeah. I have a Aerox 3 as my main desktop and non-FPS mouse. Sure. Um, and people are like, oh, non-FPS non mouse? Yeah, my thumb hits the little... I tried playing again last night when I was just farting around in COD. Yeah. I was meleeing at nothing and throwing grenades and... So it's not just the uh, NP01 that you have issues with? Uh, well, that one I had because, if you notice, I don't have any problems here because the yeah. back and forth are clear. 
away from my fat thumb. Sure. Also, yesterday I did. I, I think it's less of an issue when I don't like uh, stab a uh, cardboard box from Coca Cola in my cuticle. So like I was purposely keeping my thumb off the mouse pad because sure. it hurts like a. It's like a yeah. Belief, yeah. Yeah. Um. So my finger is up a bit more from where it usually is, and yeah. I was like even slightly on those buttons, and then yeah, I was like, oh, I gotta shoot this guy, and just rolled it forward and. Melee, uh, yeah. yeah. Nothing. So, get shot. that's why I don't use the... Uh, I like Derek's 3. I also use the Rival 3 at work. Yeah. So, I might be a bit biased there because I'm using it like... Yeah. I'm using that shape. All day? All day. Like, yeah. at work and not at work. Yeah. So, but it's a good shape. Like, it's a... it's a. I would. I actually prefer it over the 305. Uh, I'm going to say that now. And I like the 305. It's like a generic browsing mouse. Yeah. Uh, I think the Rival 3... Slash Aerox 3 shape is uh, more generic and better than that. Yeah. Um, uh, so, but yeah, besides the... And the 106, you guys are like, what the fuck is a rival 106? Exactly. Exactly. I didn't know that either. And then it was bes China. bestowed upon me from China yeah. and Corn Electronics. Yeah. And it has changed my life. That's good. Um, Screws has a custom one too. That he doesn't mm -hmm. use, they should use. Tell, tell him in the comments he should use his custom, custom rival 106. 4.0 switches. Yeah. Custom paracord. Oh, you got 8.0 side clicks too. Yeah. Yeah. Because we didn't have 2.0s at the time. Now we'd probably stick 2.0s. I don't think we upgraded the 8.0 side clicks. Yeah. Okay. Because remember, uh, <sighs> the desoldering on the 106 because it's a cheap mouse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I figured maybe yeah. I could reuse the uh, Omron switches. As yeah, you proceeded to melt them. I think you said that happened on yours too. Yep, yeah, one of mine it did happen. I was warning you and you're like, oh, no, we're going to reuse these. I'm like, yeah. you're literally going to burn yourself if you don't grab that with the pliers. Yeah. yeah. And then you grabbed it and you're like, yeah, I should use the pliers. Yeah. Yeah, not a good time. And, like, what did the switches say? Like, oh, you're supposed to do this temperature for, like, 0.5 seconds, and we're doing double that temperature for multiple seconds? Yeah, they're a little, they're a little warm. Those Omron's kind of little cold. <laughs> so, uh, but yes, the outset, I, I'm i not going to say it's a better shape than EC2, yeah. but I'm enjoying it. So that's why it's on my desk. Um, it's very similar. The front is skinnier, yeah. and the back is wider than an EC2. And it's also got a taller hump, and the front is taller. So the front, it, front is up from an EC2. Um, the hump is bigger, like it's a taller hump. And I would, I want to say the butt is wider, so it's mm. a little shorter, stubbier, fatter. Mm. Uh, the cane is kind of like that. This is not as wide and fat as the cane. The cane's longer, I think, too. I feel like. But it's it's got that same sort of stumpy. It also feels like flatter. Yeah, it's you know very flat. Like the cane is just like, yep, straight up and down basically, both sides. The side, I mean, like where your thumb is here, that's straight up and down. That's well, but like it's very curved elsewhere. Yeah, I'm saying like you don't get some of that that curvature if you look at the bottom again. Yep, the cane seems like it's more just like box. <laughs> Here's our mouse. I still like the cane. It's good, honestly. Yeah, very good. Get the panda cane one too. Yeah. Yes, guys, that's actually the worst one, but like it's the best one. It's not that bad, though. No. I think it's like a 3330 that they're using. But it's the best one because oh. the grip, it has the the stubbly. It's like yeah, got a, yeah, a like stippled grip. Yeah, it's like a, it, it's a stippled grip. Yeah. Um, Like on, on your on your Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got a stippled grip. I can see that, yeah. They're really nice. Also, it looks awesome because it's the Panda one. And Rocket might have featured my picture of it in their marketing. Oh, there you go. Shh, shh. Gotta get the royalty payment. <laughs> No, but I was just like, pa Panda Rival is best rival, and they're like, yes. We agree. <laughs> yes, it is best rival. <laughs> best cane. And actually, it was the hardest one to freaking get. I finally bought it, bought it on Amazon yeah. for like a super discount. Couldn't find it anywhere any, else. Any of like their white mice, for some reason, like Rocket never has any in stock, or any of the retailers at least carries. Is it better? Them. Yeah. Arguably. I don't know, I feel like they're better. This guy's, by the way, though, like I said, outset basically replaced the EC2. Well, not basically. It has replaced the EC2. Yeah. Um, we did the recent video, like, e uh, outset EC2 killer. Yes. In a lot of ways, yeah. In a lot of ways. I'm not going to say, like, 
if you like the EC2, you will like the outset, and it will be better. Because some people are trying, uh, in not trying, but in the comments, they want to know, like, I rock the EC2. Is this better? And I'm like... You'll probably enjoy it. You'll like it. You'll like the yeah. shape. Or, like, somebody's like, I have a Death Air V2. Is this better? Not necessarily. Yeah. But if you like a Death Air, if you like an EC2, you will like an outset. Yeah. At least to some extent. It might not... Like, until you use it, I told them, like... Use it for a full week or two weeks. Yeah. Then you'll actually know and keep them both plugged in and go. You know, like go between them. Like, I still like I'll use a I'll use an Air X three. I'll use the Vaxi, or I'll be say if I go and test that Corsair mouse. If I'm doing bad in Call of Duty, you know what I do though? I fucking pull up the Rival one hundred six and bop heads. Yeah. That's. I mean, I guess if like you're used to the EC two or any of those, it's a very easy shape to recommend. Cause yep. It's... It it's locks in well too, yeah. in your thumb region. Like you got a lot of room around her. Yeah. Uh, there's a nice back bit that that goes right in your palm. Yeah. Maybe not as deep as the EC2 would, but it's taller. And I, as you know from the 106, I like I like a tall mouse. Yeah. Um. What I what I really want to see is supposedly they're gonna be making a IMO 1.1, and fixing the side buttons because I told them they had to do that. The axis doing that? Yeah. Uh, nice. It's being pushed either very end of this year or next year, though, okay. because of COVID. Okay. But yes, they're making their version of the IMO 1.1. Okay. And I confirm that they're fixing the buttons on the sides. Nice. Are they doing both sides or just two buttons on I one side? I think two buttons, one side. Okay. Because that's Smart what all guys. their, even Ambi have been so far. Smart guys. So, I'm pumped, pumped about that, because IMO 1.1 is like, yeah, like, it's basically... Like, I don't know if it'll beat the 106, because the 106 is really, really nice to me. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, 106 is pretty close to that, though. So, I, I will tell you, their, their warranty service is, is good, like, in the way of... They were very prompt, like, very prompt. Like, I'm talking about, like, next morning, I had a email back. Yeah. Now, you will have to pay shipping. Now, I will say, even with course... Now, granted, I was in within the return policy. I think it's kind of bullshit I had to pay shipping. Mm -hmm. Just be aware you will have to. Like, Corsair, though, you RMA something with them, you're going to have to pay shipping. Mm. But that's that's RMA. That's outside of return policy. You mm. know what I mean? It seems like with Vaxi at any point though, if you have to send it back, they're just so small that the, apparently they can't even do return labels. You think that'd be like I I have to do a return label if I sell on eBay. So you think with their own store they could manage a return label? That's my one complaint with them so far. Otherwise, the the not Zoe mice are the best Zoe mice. Yeah, I would kind of agree. Uh, thank you. You shouldn't have lost them. I mean, I'm glad you did because they make some some yeah. some good mice. But uh, I definitely think that the outset, at least in my opinion, is a uh, much more agreeable shape than the MP01. So all right, guys. So that's that's my thoughts. Uh, I thought I'd come back after using. Uh, the outset for a while. You've you've used Orbs for a while too. Mm -hmm. Um, would you take it over the EC two? Depends. Depends. Okay. Yeah, um, it's definitely, a, it's a good shape. Yeah. And like, uh, alternative. Yeah. And to be truthful, if you guys are into mice, like you're probably watching this video, um, it can't hurt to own a couple of mice. Yeah. You know. You're not gonna hate it. I would say. <laughs> yeah. In the EC two. So. You know, it's like the Death Air. People, people ask about Death Air V2. Yeah. You'll probably like it. If you like that style of ergonomic, right-handed, medium to medium-large mm -hmm. mice. Um, and it's very... Here's the other thing. Like, you're going to notice something better than EC2. Almost no pre- and post-travel. On the, on the clicks. Yeah. Uh, best scroll wheel for tactility, for, tactility yeah. for weapon switching, stuff like that. Apart from the MP-01, the original. Yeah. That thing I think was a little more tactile. Good but, side clicks. Yeah. If you're, if you're coming from an OG Death Adder, we're talking like Chroma. Yeah. Still can't beat it. Yeah. But nothing. Even even Razor can't beat their own old mouse because... Yeah, whatever they did. Yeah. They had some magic. <sighs> well, they made the main clicks better, so they cheaped out on the side clicks. They could still do it. Yeah. But they're like, oh, it's better to have 50 billion click main clicks with optical blah blah blahs mm. and garbage on the side. It's like, no. Remember when you used the same clicks on everything? 
Ba, ba, ba. It's like, do you really need your side buttons to feel like main clicks? Yes, 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 I do. Yes. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice, and I do. Um, but yeah, cable's good. Feels like a freaking rope. Uh, could be a little bit more flexible, I guess. Yeah. Um, but they do do this up, upper, up curve on the on the cable there, so it it's less likely when paired with a bungee to touch your your mouse pad. Yeah, it doesn't drag. Doesn't, doesn't drag. Touch. Yeah. Uh, if you notice, like this is headed up. Imagine that goes to a bungee. You know, like doodly doo 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 doo. Mm. Um, you're not gonna drag it. Mm. Um, so very good. I I approve the outset. MP01. We'll see with the S. I think there's a reason why they did those improvements. Yeah. I think even though it might become less, like it's a smaller mouse, mm -hmm. which you might might like less, I think they will have improved that like formula. Yeah. If that makes sense. It should work better for you too, because I think they fixed the button. button yeah. And there yeah. Is, so. They did, and they're, they're, they actually admitted they're like, oh, it's a good thing it works better for you. And I'm like, I don't think I was the only one that had an issue because this thing, instead of just going like this, like this yeah. curve, this one was canted like another couple degrees and would just, yeah. And then, yeah. If if you either had a big fat thumb like I did, or your grip was more forward, yeah. you would just rest your finger. Rest your finger. Button, yeah. So, hopefully this was informative. I know it's our second outset video, and you'll probably see the outset again in the NP01S videos. Um, just to compare coatings and that sort of stuff. Where the main comparison there will probably be against the original MP01. Mm. And I have an MP01G, which has some of the updated revisions. Mm. So, um, you guys have a good one. See Peace.